Butterfly Beauty, so I'm here to try out what I saw on a, another YouTube video. I didn't come up with this at all, and it's taking uh, like your baby shampoo and coconut oil. With this coconut oil we got from Sam's, this is cold press organic coconut oil. Uh, I've got a little bowl here, a spoon, and we're going to make a, or and this is the very dirty uh, beauty blender, and then this one, I'm trying to see if we can get this dirt out of this beauty blender. So this is the Real Techniques beauty blender that we're going to try to wash using that mixture, and this is like some Dollar Tree, some generic one or whatever, so you can see how dirty this is to see how um, clean it gets. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to pour some of the baby... Um, shampoo in there because you know many of us wash our makeup brushes and such with it so we're trying to see how clean we can get our beauty blender because I guess with the coconut oil and the soap it really kind of gets the um, grime out of the item so I'm going to put one teaspoon eh, maybe half of another one I don't really you're going to see it's a lot that's a lot, but maybe I put too much and we're going to stir it up. And we're going to um, turn on the water and my daughter's going to put the beauty blender in the water to soak it because we're both trying to see if this is going to really work out. So we made them wet and we're going to put it in the mixture rub it all in there and then you're gonna take it out the mixture and you're gonna rub it so uh, you know kinda of get all the gunk out so let me I'll be right alrighty so um, we are just you know rubbing through don't put your nails in it because if you put your nails in it it will uh, tear your sponges so you just do your hand so my daughter's just, you're squeezing through, you just squeeze, squeeze. So we're going to see we get some of that out. We're going to take a look at the other one. She's going to do some squeeze in here too. And you should start seeing some of the dirt come out. And we're going to turn the water on, squeeze through. I'm going to turn the water on. Okay, so squeeze it through here and we can dump it through again to so see what it looks like so far. Now this one is a harder um, sponge so it's harder to squeeze but it's getting there. Alright so we'll be back. Okay so we are back and we're back after um, washing them and uh, rinsed them out. So it didn't get 100% but I mean it came out pretty dang good. So here's the beauty blender. So if you can remember in the beginning it was really dark here. And here's the green one that had all kind of powder. So it takes a lot of uh, massaging to get all the product out but the water was running clear. So again I guess because we're women of color it just kind of naturally will stain some of it. But I wanted to show you how pretty good it is at um, trying to brighten up the light here so you can see it so it's pretty dang good I got it good and clean so now it's gonna go and sit and dry so I will see you guys in another video so again all we use the oil keeps your sponges hydrated but really the coconut oil helps uh, pull all of the impurities and such out of your beauty a blender so I guess this is kind of a way of um, if you can't get your hands on the um, beauty blender cleaner the one that's in the hard soap that you rub I don't have one of those uh, but it has coconut oil in it from what I understand and it, I understand that that cleans your beauty blender is really great so that's on my wish list it's the uh, beauty blender cleaner that's in the round tub not the liquid and that you just swirl it around in there and wash your beauty blenders with them so again it's on my wish list and my wish list also is to have the official beauty blender but I love my real techniques one um, this was my daughter's so we were cleaning hers out so we can see so I will see you guys in another video uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe
Bye-bye.